What is Opening This Week, brought to you by our good friends over at AMC Theaters. We got three films opening in wide release this week, so Ashley, tell us about them. First up is 90 Minutes in Heaven, based on the book of the same name and starring Hayden Christensen and Kate Bosworth. The film tells the story of the true events of Don Piper, who died January 18, 1989, when a semi-tractor truck crushed his car. Declared dead by the first rescue workers to arrive on the scene, Don's body was lying under a tarp for the next 90 minutes. Don's soul, meanwhile, was experiencing love, joy, and life like he'd never known before. Don was in heaven. When another pastor's prayers helped bring Bring Don back to life. He became a living miracle. Yet this is one miracle Don wished never happened. Heaven's bliss was replaced by excruciating pain and emotional turmoil. With the support and prayers of his beloved Eva, their three kids, and his friends near and far, Don clings to his faith in God and fights to regain a semblance of his previous life. Next up is the new thriller, The Perfect Guy. With a fulfilling career and loving relationship, lobbyist Leah Vaughn, played by Sanaa Lathan, seems to have it all. Things come crashing down when Dave, her long-term boyfriend, questions her future plans for marriage and family. The resulting breakup leaves Leah heartbroken until she meets the charming and handsome Carter Duncan, played by Michael Ely. Soon, the budding romance turns dangerous as Carter reveals his volatile nature, forcing Leah to turn the tables on the man she thought was Mr. Right. Finally is the new M. Night Shyamalan horror film, The Visit. Becca and younger brother Tyler say goodbye to their mother as they board a train and head deep into Pennsylvania farm country to meet their maternal grandparents for the first time. Welcomed by Nana and Pop Pop, all seems well until the siblings start to notice increasingly strange behavior from the seemingly charming couple. Once the children discover a shocking secret, they begin to wonder if they'll ever make it home. Mark, which of these films are you looking forward to the most? Uh, well, just by default, the visit. I mean, it, like, I think the perfect guy looks like a guilty pleasure kind of movie. The 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 heaven movie. What's it called? Uh, that one. Uh, yeah. I mean, as much as I love Star Wars, I'm not a huge Hayden Christensen fan. Uh, that story does sound intriguing to me, though, because usually when you have a I came back from the dead movie, it's like, oh, yeah, man, I was in heaven. It was awesome. Now I'm back on Earth and it's great. This guy wasn't that thrilled that he had been brought back because of all the stuff he had to endure in rehab. He was actually enjoying heaven. And that's something I can get on board with. It's like if I go to heaven, I don't want to come back down to Earth. I, I might not be You're a Redskins back fan. In five there is minutes. no such thing. The, there is heaven. And it's going to be this season when we go 16 and it's when the season's in over. The regular season. <laughs> when it's usually ends. March and April is when we win the Super Bowl. Uh, but yeah, so it's obviously the visit because I'm such a huge... Uh, it, it, you hesitate to say fan of M. Night Shyamalan because I love his first three movies so much and I was very let down by every film since then. But I think that there is still talent in there. I root for guys who were great once to come back and be great again. <laughs> so I want to see Shyamalan do it and I've seen the visit and I, I can tell you this is the best movie he's done since before The Village, which again, ain't saying much, but I was impressed with The Visit. I think you all should check it out. I, the one I'm looking forward to is the visit because, you know, as much as we have joked about M. Night, because he's brought it on himself right. with terrible film after terrible film after mm -hmm. terrible film, we, he was not a one-hit wonder. He put out several really good films. And I'm like you. I root for these guys who were great once to come back and be great again. We just talked about Tom Cruise right. Uh, earlier, right? right? We said that great comeback. I would like to see it again. And I have not seen the visit yet. But this is the first movie from M. Night in a long time that I'm hearing people coming out and going, you know, that was pretty good. When's the last time we heard that? Over a decade? So that has me really intrigued. It's a small budget film under Bloomhouse. Bloomhouse seems to be able to do wonders with stuff like this. So I'm really curious to see it. Anyway, Christian, what about you? I would say The Visit as well, too. And I know that some people, if you've seen the review, you're like, wait a minute, I've seen your review of The Visit. Um, I've, <laughs> I've, re I've rethought of some things. I still don't like, I didn't like it as much as Mark did, too. I think that there's parts of it that are really silly. Right. Um, but it is definitely his best since uh, The Village, for sure. But um, the, he, 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 goes, he goes back to basics, and it's a smaller film. And I think the problem with M. Night is when he started making these big budget movies, and he got lost in himself, and he got lost in the Time magazine, I'm the next Spielberg thing. Yeah. He got lost in all that stuff. And this, this movie, I will say, regardless of what I thought of it overall, this is him being a filmmaker again and, and enjoying having – and he has fun making this movie. So if you are – and you root for the guy now. He's, he's kind of come back, and like even you talking to him at Comic-Con, he's, he's humble now, and he's, it's like – you root for him regardless. Again, regardless of what I thought about it. Mark loved it. A lot of people are also starting to love the movie. So great. I hope it does well. Um, I agree with Mark. I think Perfect Guy could be more of a, uh, a guilty pleasure movie. It seems like even it's what we thought the gift was going to be 
you know, in, in the in the vein of like unlawful entry and even uh, those, those types of movies. I that's probably where we're going with this one. Probably seen it before. It's probably cliched, but I like Michael Ealy, so it could be all right. But um, the 90, ninety minutes in heaven. I I ha- and I think you said this beforehand. Had it been a different actor doing this role, I'd probably be a little bit more interested. Um, it reminds me of that Greg Kinnear movie about his son. Heaven is for real. Heaven is for, for real, real. Yeah. which I enjoy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's always fascinating to me because, you know, what the hell is out there? Who knows? You know, and, and, to, to, and to see and to, and to hear these real life experiences of what these people went through. You want, but you also want a vessel to take you through that. And I don't think Hayden Christensen is the vessel to do it. No, the, he was he he ruined the trailer for me. He, he single handedly ruined the trailer. He's got for no me. emotion. He's so wooden. Yeah. Um, I like, just hope I, for his hate for his sake that there's no sand in heaven because sand is <laughs> I hate sand. Horse <laughs> and gets everywhere. Yeah. But I He's mean, holding me back. <laughs> The the thing and here's the thing too. I went and watched some. I found some video of the guy that that movie's based on to see. Well, maybe that's the way that guy really talks. That is not the way that guy talks. The guy talks like a regular human being. Um, and Hayden Christensen was so wooden in that. Uh, well, one to thing be about fair, Hayden Christensen had just seen Jupiter Ascending. Well, okay, yeah, yes, yeah, so yeah, we'll yeah. give him that. <laughs> but as far as the perfect guy, though, the one thing I don't I don't know, and maybe I'm told maybe this is me feeling insecure about myself, whatever. Can I just say it is almost unfair how good looking uh, Eli is? Michael Ely. Michael Ely. Yeah. That guy is so good looking, it's just unfair. It's just not fair. Well, let's not sell <laughs> Morris Chestnut either. No, that is I, a and good I, looking man and in Morris his own right. Morris Chestnut is absolutely a really good looking dude, too. I'm just saying, whenever I see anything he's in, it just makes me a little bit mad that some people get so much and some of us get so little. <laughs> well, I happen to think Santa Lathan's pretty hot. So, well, that, that's true, too. <laughs>